Every year, the student ministry here at Coastline does something called Serve Week. And even though things looked a little different, we were recently able to complete our Serve Week for this year. This is one of my favorite weeks of the year, not just because we get to make all the students work harder than they ever thought they could, not because this is our opportunity to offer a little payback to the students that make us work hard all year long, although those things are kind of a bonus. No, it's one of our favorite weeks because Serve Week is a time for these students to see, even just for just a few days, what it means to serve the Lord. I am a very visual person. It's one of the reasons that I got into the trades years ago. To be able to build or fix something with my hands and then be able to take a step back and see what I was able to accomplish. Whether that means it was fixed, built, or more broken than when I started, I could step back and know that I did that. There was just one problem. I was working for me for my own selfish satisfaction and doing it for this selfish sense of pride that I was the one providing for my family. I was doing it for me. Listen to what it says in Colossians 3, 23 through 25. Work willingly at whatever you do as though you are working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward and that the master you are serving is Christ. But if you do what is wrong, you will be paid back for the wrong you have done. For God has no favorites. I may have had to learn this the hard way and took way too long to learn this, but once I did, I never forgot it. When you stop working for man and begin working for the Lord, you can't be let down. You can't be disappointed. The Lord will never leave you feeling undervalued or overworked. When we understand that our sole purpose on this earth is to glorify God in all that we do, and we actually begin to work for His glory, we will live a more fulfilled and rewarded life than any life that we could ever build for ourselves. It may not look like what the world tells us it should look like, but I would much rather have the Lord's inheritance than any temporary thing the world tries to offer.